this has begun a, a wave of interest mm -hmm. in what can happen when we really talk about what do sisters do and what do, what are, what, how do sisters pray and how do sisters evangelize. And so it not becomes more of how do we do these things right. with their influence? How do we become these advocates mm -hmm. into? And it says that, you know, for the most part, a lot of sisters are very happy with being invisible. Yeah. And so for us to see that, you know, we're making them visible to our students. Our students are going to go home and have conversations yes, at home. Absolutely. Our colleagues are going to see it and sure. see it. So I think this curriculum has really built an interest around how do we answer this call? And the whole concept in the curriculum was the answer to call. And I think we're gonna invite our students to answer the call. Yeah, and I think they approach the idea of a call as in, okay, you know, you get the one call and you hear that call once and that sets your path for the rest of your life. And what the curriculum demonstrates and what relationship with women religious demonstrates is that that call is ongoing all the time. They're continuously hearing that call and responding. And isn't that a glorious model for us to always remain open to that call and to hopefully always say yes and respond to it? So I think this has become... Um gosh, uh, something that started as a small concept and us answering the call right. to us really visualizing how it fits not in our, in our school, in our class, but also in this whole community. So I think it, it's just really, for lack of a better word, really attacking our students from every angle yeah. and giving them that scope of this is a really multifaceted person. It's not just a person who prays every day. Mm -hmm. It's a person that does and reacts and has action. I think for our students, that the curriculum has done that.